Restaurant red alert, rodents, roaches, and even ants. A trifecta of troubles for Sabora, Mexico on East Brandon Boulevard. It was just one of the restaurants shut down by state health inspectors last week due to critters in the kitchen. While this restaurant also had a long list of other violations, experts say the problems with pests might not be entirely the restaurant's fault. Nighttide's Bo Zimmer joins us now. And Bo, uh, you see this every week with your restaurant red alert. Well, and Carolina, what I've noticed is over the years, we've seen a spike in emergency closures, especially after major rain events like hurricanes or tropical storms. Even after a week like we've had this week with uh, all the heavy rains and flooding every day, uh, the roach and rodent problems seem to go up after these weather events. And we also see more flies and ants in the kitchen as well. Now we've got some video. You might remember this from about a month ago. Roaches caught on camera trying to escape the flood waters from Hurricane Barry. Who knew roaches could swim so fast? The bad news, restaurants aren't the only safe havens for pests. They can also easily invade your home or your business. With the amount of rain that we've had, their habitat may have been destroyed, so they'll start to, you know, Look for something inside your wall, look for something in your attic to create their own new little home. Yeah, okay. And more bad news, it's not just roaches. Experts say the same thing happens with mice and rats. When their homes get flooded out, ants come to the surface as well, trying to save their eggs from drowning. But the biggest problem, according to experts, is with the American cockroach. Your dryer vents that you have, you want to make sure you're putting cages on these or flaps because rodents will just climb right up into one of these. So will roaches, they'll climb up into these dryer vents and get into your house when you're not using them because there's no pressure to keep them out. Yeah, that's Daniel Grimsley from the Tampa Terminex office. He says to keep your garbage cans clean and sealed up when they're outside and also check to make sure there are no roaches in the garbage can. If you're going to be bringing it back inside, that can cause a real bad infestation in your house. Also check around the seals of your garage and even your front door. It only takes a tiny opening and even larger critters like mice and rats can easily get inside. I've posted all this information for you on our free 10 News app.